Hi YouTube, James, m 0 h This is the GB3JX repeater um, located on the uh, Norwich area on 50.830 I'll just quickly show you this m 0 h Right, I just want to show you some of the IDs you will expect to hear when accessing GB3JX so I'm going to go ahead and enter in my password here on DTMF Turn this up just a tad. Okay. So ID number one, which is a Morse code. So that's um, the first ID, which is uh, DE, GB3JX, and then F for the CTCSS tone, CWID2. There you go. So that's basically uh, the same ID without the DE at the front. And here's the first voice ID then. M0ZAH. Welcome. This is the GB3JX repeater tone 94.8. Okay. Second voice ID. And the last voice ID. This is the GB3JX repeater located in Norwich, Norfolk. Now, with any of these voice IDs, a simple transmission over the voice ID will turn it into CW, and I'd like to demonstrate that right now. Welcome. This M0ZAH. The controller simply does this so that the voice ID doesn't override the speech. Um, this repeater transmits CWID every seven minutes. Um, legally in the UK, a repeater has to transmit a CWI dent at least every 15. So JX does it every seven, and the voice ID dents only uh, occur when the uh, repeater is um, initiated from cold. Um, so uh, it gives you an idea of how the system works anyway. This is an ARCOM 210 repeater controller and um, I'm just going to lock the controller here. And I don't mind sharing the, the lock digit. It's just a hash. Let's make sure I entered that incorrectly. Lock. m 0 h is clear. So there you go, that's a little bit about JX and uh, what you'll expect to hear on the air. Thank you for watching.